Hey, welcome back. So let's discuss when you know you're saying too much in the actual deal itself. So when you're going through the selling process, there's something called, I mean, there's so many different phrases for it, throwing up on your customer or the old school, spilling your marbles in the lobby. But when you say too much to the customer, especially to the wrong decision maker or the wrong person in that hierarchy, whether that be a gatekeeper, um, maybe a head of HR, maybe it be the, uh, the sales manager, the GM, anyone under the VP, right, or the president that would be able to sign off on the deal, you know you're saying too much whenever they're trying to back out immediately to whenever they tell you um, and then they wanna to try to end the, the meeting abruptly. Um, if they start diving in to more questions that are completely down a different rabbit hole and super lost in the weeds, um, here's an example. If you're saying too much to the wrong person that would help influence the decision maker, and they start asking specifically how you run ads. You need to immediately reframe the entire situation to bring it back to the basics, to be able to make sure you get them on track to understanding the surface level of how you're going to be able to take them from A to B, from where they are now to the destination they want in a way that they can understand it. Because here's the thing, what happens whenever you say too much to the customer is they get confused, they get scared, and a confused buyer always says no. Anybody that is scared is always going to run. So it's super, it's super important to make sure that you're cognizant of what your prospect is doing and how they react. If they start asking super detailed questions in that way, either A, they're ready to buy, and you need to immediately schedule an appointment with the other decision makers that could then pull the trigger so you can make sure you put all the objections on the table that would stop them from moving forward, or you need to make sure you reframe it, take them back a few steps, let them know that what you do and the way you do it works, right? And reassure them that, and what they wanna know is a complete non-issue, and those details will do nothing but confuse them more, and you could even ask them, you know, it's funny, we say this a lot, but at what point do you want me to give you information to where you're so confused that you end up not wanting to move forward anyway because if you're anything like me or you're anything like our best customers anytime they feel overwhelmed or they feel confused they always say no to that next thing that could have helped them and guys we're all human we all feel that way so it's important to make sure that whenever you speak too much to a customer and you see them getting defensive or you see them getting um, overly offensive trying to ask questions that are completely irrelevant to what they need to know you reframe it, take it back a few steps, or you, you find out if they really need to know that and you get all the other decision makers to book another call so you can bring the rest of the information that is important to the sale moving forward. So I hope this is really helpful. Make sure you are very aware of your surroundings and cognizant of who's in front of you and their reaction to how much information you're delivering to them in order to know when to reframe or when to set the next appointment. I'll see you guys in the next video.